Here we have the Highline CFR650 Top Gun Bale Processor. We are going to run through a quick startup video to help you get familiar with your new machine. Drawbar length should be set to 16 inches from the center of the pinhole to the end of the tractor PTO shaft. If the tractor has a hammer strap attachment, use the single point hitch on the top gun. If the tractor just has a single hitch, use the clevis attachment on the top gun. Level the top gun by adjusting the hitch clevis bolts. Remove the jack and install in the storage location. Slide the drive line onto the tractor PTO shaft and allow the lock to engage. For a three hydraulic remote setup, connect the hydraulic hoses to the preferred outlets. Green marked hoses are the bale lift. Red marked hoses are the selector valve for the turret operation. Blue marked hoses are the feed rollers. For the joystick option, the green marked hoses are supplied. The electric harness will route from the hydraulic block to the tractor and will require 12 volt supply and mounting of the joystick. Connect the light harness plug to the tractor. Remove the transport lock from the bale lift cylinder. Disengage the flail drum lock. For processing the material through the blower, be sure the side panels of the auger housing are securely closed. and the blower clutch is engaged. Observe the hydraulic speed of the bale lift. If motion is too quick, the bale lift will have unnecessary force entering the tub. A recommended speed of the feed rollers is about 30 RPM. This may vary with bale type and size. The joystick can be used for the following functions. Turret swing, left or right. Turret up and down, bale lift down, bale lift up, and feed rollers. Hydraulically adjust the turret spout away from the tub to allow the bale to be loaded. Lower the bale lift and back into the desired bale. Have the forks lowered completely as the forks will float on the ground for uneven terrain. To limit the amount of float on the forks, a 5 8 bolt can be installed to reduce this. Lift the bale into the tub. Operate the spout and point in the desired location. With the tractor at low RPM, engage the PTO. Slowly increase the throttle to 1000 PTO RPM. Once the PTO is operating at 1000 RPM, engage the feed rollers. The feed rollers are allowed to operate both directions. The following is the procedure for the twine removal. It is recommended after 20 to 25 bales to remove the twine or net wrap off of the drum and auger. Raise the bale lift and install the transport lock. Lock the drum in the lock position. This is when the knife guide is rotated to the top of the drum. Set the aggression to 1. If there are any flails covering the knife guide, lift them away so that the knife is not damaged when cutting the twine. Place the twine cutter handle in the designated slot located on the rear of the machine and proceed to cut the twine off of the drum following the track on the drum. Once the twine is cut, unlock the drum and pull the twine off of the drum from the discharge opening. Place the handle back into the storage location.